YouTube, what is up? Welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm going to be going into the whole situation that happened a few days ago within the M3 BTK beat Blacklist International. You guys might be wondering, why are we talking about that now? It happened a while ago, but it's actually got a lot of effects that I've been thinking about, not only within the M3 tournament itself, but the future of MPL, the future of the M series, the future of Mobile Legends Bang Bang globally. And I would like to just make a video about it. And if you guys have any insights or comments about this yourself, please do leave it in the comment section below because this is a great talking point. I know there's already a lot of talking about this online, but these are my thoughts and I would love to share it with you guys. All right, so let's get to the video. So BTK or Bloodthirsty Kings, who are they? They're a squad out of North America. And I guess the most notable person within that squad because he streams so much is Moba Zane, uh, who also tends to be their core player. So they are, yes, from North America where there is no MPL. There isn't much traction for Mobile Legends Bang Bang there. But here comes a team from North America. No coach, no analyst. I don't think they have even met in person. If I remember right, they met in person for the first time, most of them uh, as a team when they arrived in Singapore. So that's crazy because they're a, I mean, it's a team, like I said, that is very new and doesn't have much support. And they came into M3 and they beat the tournament favorites, Blacklist International, right? Three to two. So that does have a lot to say uh, about this team as a whole. And was it luck? I don't think so. I, don't, I think a lot of people don't think that it was luck at all, um, but that's who BTK is. So moving forward, Yes, they beat Blacklist International, the tournament favorite for winning the entire thing three to two. It was quite the shock for pretty much everybody that was watching, uh, whether you're a Blacklist fan or not. It was quite the statement coming out from BTK. BTK, the two percent believers. I'm not lucky. And honestly, I feel like with that being said, Blacklist International, they respond very, very strongly to defeat. We've seen it before, and honestly, if Blacklist International ends up winning M3, I think a lot of that will have to do because of their loss, their defeat to BTK. Now, you might ask why? Because when Black gets beaten, it lets them step back from where they stand as, as a team, as an as a organization, and kind of go back and, and review why did they get bit why did they get beat what happened here they readjust their whole strategy i want to say the whole strategy but parts of it and this is this is how they adapt right i mean obviously if a team continuously wins 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 it's they just stick with what they're winning with right but if they get a loss here like from a team from btk i mean think about it just like i said in my last point btk didn't have everything, not even close to what Blacklist International as a team, as an org has. And when you get beat like that, three to two, to a team that doesn't have any of that, it, it's quite the wake up call, right? So that's why I'm saying that I think if Blacklist goes to win the entire M3, which can be another, we can talk about that in another video. Um, I think a lot of it will have to do with their their loss here to BTK. So we'll see how that goes. But my next point here is the non-MPL teams competing with MPL teams. This isn't just BTK. I believe the other one was from Turkey. I think it was Bedell. You know, this is another squad that is performing so well, has made it into the top, the top eight, I believe. And they don't have MPLs. Now, if you don't have an MPL in your region, you know, most of the stuff that you're doing, most of the practice that you have is in local tournaments maybe, or online tournaments, or maybe just scrimmages. You know, it's very hard to have that environment without an MPL. So to have non-MPL teams competing toe to toe, you know, going head to head with these M MPL powerhouse teams is a lot. It says a lot about the region and it brings for me personally, I would say it brings hope to having MPLs in those regions. Now, a lot of you guys know I'm Filipino American, right? I, I 
I just casted my first season here in the Philippines uh, for the English broadcast, season eight. But I'll be honest, and I was streaming Mobile Legends for, for two years. I played it for three years. And I have always hoped or wished that there would be at least an MPL in NA, the NA region, the North America region. Because obviously we see how successful, you know, other games can be there. And I would think that a lot of interest for MLBB would be even bigger in North America if there was an MPL, because that would give a reason for organizations and teams to form, to compete, you know, who knows? Maybe there's going to be, you know, some of your biggest organizations out there that have a team within Mobile Legends Bang Bang if there's an MPL there. Because let's be honest, MPL and just Mobile Legends in general is not going anywhere anytime soon. People can say what they want to say about it, but you're talking about huge viewership, huge reach, huge amount of just investment into it that it can only grow. I mean, like I said, a team like Navi now, you know, from Russia has has a team with it competing there at M3, right? They're competing at M3, but there's interest there. So the the whole thing that BTK is doing right now and Navi, of course, but specifically BTK, since that's what we're talking about in this video, is they're lighting a fire for what I believe is the Western countries to get more involved into MLBB and I think that's very important for not only the growth obviously of the game but just to it brings a better sense of competition I feel like when you have all these countries competing and you know it's not so much just in Southeast Asia anymore I mean every year it's grown and grown and grown to the point now where we might actually see more Western you know more western regions kind of getting involved and i think that would be very very good obviously for the future m4s m5s the msc well msc is mostly southeast asia but you know the the future of the tournament health and everything so this is a lot coming from a squad again bloodthirsty kings who don't have you know they're not an mpl team who don't have don't even have a coach don't have boot camps don't have analysts you know that is huge for what they're doing and overall i just think that it, it is going to be an amazing thing if mpl opens up for example in na uh who knows we might see 100 thieves uh mlbb team you know maybe even a i don't know if they'd ever do it maybe even tsm but Regardless of what is happening for M3 right now, now at recording this, a BTK does play later today. I think they're playing against Evo Singapore, um, but we'll have to see how that goes out. Now, regardless of the win or loss situation for, for that series, I think, like I said, BTK has still earned the respect of a lot of people watching around the world, and they've done a lot to kind of like i said spark that fire spark that interest within the north america region so who knows what's going to happen with it we might even see NPLNA one day and uh, i think that would be an amazing thing so those are my thoughts my long term and especially going into the long-term effects of this performance that btk has had and you know let me know what you guys think because this is this is very interesting and i think it's about time that the mobile legends bang bang mpl hype kind of went to those regions of the world because like i said coming from america man i would have loved to see an mpl na and to have those teams kind of form and compete and compete on the big world stage like they are right now so um who knows what can happen but there's a lot of talent out there and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments as well in in regards to a BTK beating Blacklist International. Um, for me personally, I still have my favorite team that I would like to see win the M3 championship. I'll save that for another video, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Enjoy your day. Bye bye.